Do you suffer from anxiety? Scans have shown in the anxious brain there is overactivity in a network called the default mode network. When this network is overactive, it ends up bombarding the cortex, the thinking part of your brain, where your mind resides, with persistent, anxious, worrying thoughts and feelings. In this video, I'll introduce you to how the default mode network works, but then more importantly, what you can do to dampen down that overactivity to then combat your anxiety. So the major components of the default mode network are the amygdala, which acts like a burglar alarm, scanning the environment for potential threats. Once triggered, the amygdala asks the hippocampus, the memory banks of the brain, for additional related memories of past traumas and experiences. Unfortunately, that would even include, in your anxious brain, just memories of previously being anxious. So this additional information is sent up to a processing center. All this information is sent up to a processing center, the posterior cingulate cortex, which then throws the information forward or relays it forward into the cortex of the brain, which is where your mind is. If this network, the default mode network is overactive, your cortex is being excessively bombarded with distressing and anxious thoughts. To give you a more illustrative uh, diagram of that, the amygdala scanning the environment becomes triggered by potential threats and danger, even when there isn't actually any and it produces these scary, unpleasant feelings. It then checks in the hippocampus, which adds distressing, scary memories and experiences, passes this via the processing center into your cortex, where you now experience persistent, anxious thoughts and feelings. In other words, you have anxiety. The good news is that the default mode network is, is a paired system, I'll put versus, with another network called the task positive network. And the way these two networks work is when one is active, it switches the other off. So, if right now your starting position is that you have an overactive dominating default mode network and a rather weak task positive network, what you can do is grow and strengthen the task positive network so that it is able to counteract your excessively active default mode network. And the way we do that is, I'm going to show you in the next video, actually, um, the scans have identified the structures, there's a few of them, of the task positive network. And there are meditation brain training exercises you can do to string these together in a kind of like a brain training circuit gym to activate, exercise and strengthen these components to counteract your anxiety. Now, I just want to uh, quickly turn, re return to this previous uh, diagram. In addition to working on the default mode network overall, uh, subsequently, I'll show you techniques to work on individual components of this network. There are additional techniques we can bring to bear on the amygdala. We can change the software programming in the amygdala so it is less triggered. With brain training, you can actually shrink an enlarged amygdala. Brain scans have shown that in anxious brains the amygdala is often actually enlarged. There are techniques we can use to reprogram or uh, uh, change the significance of memories so that, access memories and reconsolidate them, so that the next time you access those memories they don't produce such scary and distressing experiences. There are additional techniques you can use to change the psychology in the cortex, obviously cognitive therapies, but you can use, again, meditation brain training exercise to actually strengthen the physical cortex to make it more resilient to resist these uh, being bombarded by these distressing thoughts and feelings. Now, this is uh, the first of a series of videos I'm doing, and I'll just summarize what we've seen here. The default mode network is overactive in the anxious brain. The default mode network has a counterbalancing network called the task positive network. We can grow and strengthen the task positive network to combat anxiety. We can also use additional techniques to change the individual components of the, amyg of the default mode network, including the amygdala, the cortex and the hippocampus. If you'd like to follow this through and see more of these videos and uh, learn these techniques, I'd love to help you overcome anxiety. So please subscribe to my channel. And uh, a good thing to do, by the way, is click on the notifications bell. I don't know if you've used that before, but by clicking on that, you'll get an update next time I make a video. 
If you'd like to read more and see uh, when my next meditation classes uh, for teaching the default mode network techniques are available, then you can visit my new website, petersmithuk.com. Anxiety is treatable. The new frontier in treating anxiety is to use self-directed neuroplastic change to rewire the anxious brain. Bye for now.